Okay, rap brackets. I've been waiting to do this one. We got K Dot Big Steppers versus Tupac. This isn't even fair. This is a good Kendrick album. Not my favorite, but uh, it's a good album. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's All Eyes on Me is probably going to win. I still listen to All, I, All Eyes on Me weekly. I still listen to, I'm always listening to All Eyes on Me. So, yeah. Mm. Sorry, Gunner, but graduation is Kanye's glory champion. Can't tell me nothing. Come on, man. 21 versus the Carter 3. Come on, Lil Wayne. Lollipop. This was Wayne was a star. Yeah, the Carter 3. Is the Marshall Mathis LP? Is that Marshall Mathis LP? I forgot how the cover look. Let me see. That is the Marshall Mathis LP. Marshall Mathis LP, I'm sorry. The Marshall Mathis LP was legendary. This is Drake's worst album. I don't even remember the name of that album because I, I couldn't stand it. Playboy Cardi. I'm going to go with Playboy Cardi. I hate that Drake album, yo. Yeah. Oh, of course. Good Kid, Mad City. Free on Thug. Damn! Damn, is a crazy player. Oh, man. One of Kanye best albums. I, I would say that, that's my favorite Kanye album. Barry Bonds with Lil Wayne. And that's an underrated song. People don't like that song with Lil Wayne and Kanye West. It's it's, it's, it's so underrated. I think this is his, his best album cover. Can't Tell Me None Champion. Big Brother. Glory. Glory Beat was amazing. All Eyes on Me. It's like... Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. Both albums, you're never gonna see this again. Both albums sold a million records in the first week. The way I am by Eminem is. But let me say this: my problem with the Marshall Mathis LP is, I don't listen to it as much. There's a lot of older albums I go back to. Now I know it's it's like it's like the movie Halloween. It's a classic, but I can't watch it all the time. You know, it's like it's, it's a classic, but can't watch it all the time. Now the Carter Three, on the other hand, replay value is so much higher. I can't lie. Damn, it's it's, it's so monumental. It's like a, what they call it, a Sally's Comet. You only see it every five, ten, every hundred years or something like that. This is hard, man. This is one is a hard one. Fuck, three peat. Shit. Damn, dog. This is not easy. I'm a criminal. I mean, this was. Eminem was my favorite rapper once upon a time. Damn, Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper once upon a time. This is a hard one, man. Good God, this is hard. Because more and more, every time I think about another song, Kim is one of the most horrific songs you ever going to hear in your life. But misunderstood. Stood is such a masterpiece, and you don't get to hear Wayne introspect himself a lot of times. And then Mr. Carter, Dr. Carter. Whew, this is hard, man. I don't, I don't know. Is you, you can't go wrong. Let me just. This is so hard. I'm going to go with the Marshall Mathis LP. Damn it. I can't believe I picked it. Oh, man. Good kid, man. See, oh, easy. Damn. Jeffrey. I like Jeffrey, man. So much fun. This is That's my favorite 
thug album, but it had nothing on damn. <laughs> M's best album, right? I think most people know. M's best album, in my opinion, is Marshall Mathers LP. But this was, as far as him being a megastar, that Marshall Mathers LP is when Eminem was at his height of his star. I don't think he had ever, I don't know if anybody, because Eminem started to become something bigger. You know, he was big, man. Eminem was big. I remember that. I'm Slim Shady or something, the real Shady. But the GOAT, let's say Tupac All Eyes on Me, man. Two of America's Most Wanted. When I tell you, I still listen to All Eyes on Me. I don't know when the last time I heard the Marshall Mathers LP, but I listened to All Eyes on Me yesterday. That album, the things that he talk about is still relevant. It's an amazing album. In my opinion, All Eyes on Me is a top five album of all time. That album is so impressive. They trying to play it, hey, but they can't stop us. <laughs> that album is amazing. All Eyes on Me. Oh, Kendrick versus Kendrick. Damn versus Good. This, and this is best two albums. Good kid, Mad City, man. Now, damn, I always say Kendrick was flexing on damn because lyrically, he was doing what other people was doing. Like he would, he got on humble, which is more like you know what I'm saying. It's more, it ain't really Kendrick pocket, but he got there. He went there. He showed you that he could do it better than most people. That even I could beat you at your own game. Good Kid, Mad City. I believe Good Kid, Mad City is one of the greatest rap albums ever. Amazing. Don't kill my vibe, man. Probably one of the best songs of the 2010s. Amazing album. Amazing. He did skits on that album. Imagine that. People, that skits was a thing in the 90s. Good Kid, Mad City. Ha, <laughs> ha, I love you, Kendrick. That album was amazing, but all eyes on me, man. Let me tell you. Two of America's most wanted. Can't see me. Ambitions of a rider. Real player standpoint game tight. All eyes on me. Pitching me rolling. <laughs> this album is so amazing, yo. I still go to it it's still it, 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 it amazes me how can something still sound so crisp I mean I love all eyes on me it's an amazing album it's an amazing album scandalous all eyes on me y'all one of the greatest rap albums ever maybe the greatest